This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn a very cool effect which is the effect of making it look like there's text on the glass but the text itself is sort of embossed um, on the glass surface so it's coming out of the glass surface. You know you've probably seen things that are like a, a beer or something where there's text that um, comes out sort of like this here we have this on the wood here part the text is kinda of coming out of this part of the wood what we want to do is actually make it seem like there's text along here that's coming being embossed you know from from the glass itself so the first thing that we need to do here is uh, we're going to add some uh, we're gonna add the text that we want to have here so I'm just gonna type in here okay now I'm just gonna make the uh, size a bit bigger here all right, and I'm just going to go into my uh, my text layer here again, and uh, just do a couple of changes. Um, let me close here my layers. First thing I want to do is just have everything be the same size. So I'm just going to start off here with everything being the same size as the olive oil. So I'm just going to use my type tools here. Right now it's at 28 um, points. I'm just going to make this. I'm just going to guess here. Oops, 16, 17. I'm just increasing the size one by one until I sort of loosely get the same sized uh, text here, the width being roughly the same. I'll do the same for the top one here. Just increasing it by one until roughly, there you go, it's roughly matching. And now what we want to do is uh, just bring up your, um, go to window and uh, show all menu items here and go to character. You want to bring up your character here and you want to uh, set the size here of the uh, the spacing between the lines to uh, yours is probably let me just set this here on auto and see how that looks yours is on auto but what happens with the different size text is that they all space differently so you probably want to select this one here and sort of let's say 18 that's a tight space there, so that's fine, 18, and this one would be something like 20, no, 22, 25. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's looking good. So I got a good space in these things, and I'm just essentially just creating a nice little logo here. I'm just going to actually bump this up to make it bolder, like so. Okay, that's looking good. And now what I want to do is just put this text here on this, on this, uh, make it seem like it's part of this, right? And um, this shot here is quite easy, because what I can do is I can just... Do a free transform to actually make it a little bit bigger, and then what I can also do is um, just go in here and align this at the bottom here, and just make sure that my text is aligning with that curvature. And I can just bring it down and see that yeah, it's pretty much aligning there, and and pretty much like this, it already starts to look like uh, it's on the right angle. But the problem is sometimes Photoshop just makes when it's actual text, it, it sort of just looks like the text is just going up and down and a little bit fuzzy. So the the ideal thing to do, and let me just undo this here. Let me just go back in here and undo. The ideal thing is actually um, to put this on to um, a different effect. You want to go into filter and you want to go into vanishing point and actually create the, 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 the plane with which the text would go on. So because this this... This photo is actually quite easy. It's a bit front on, a little bit to the side. So rotating it would actually suit, but uh, if you have different angles, then you're looking at vanishing point being a little bit better. So let me just show you how that works. With vanishing point, we want to select our text, and we want to uh, control and click to make a selection of our text. We want to copy it, control and C, and now we want to get rid of that and deselect. Now we want to go into a blank layer, go into filter, vanishing point, and I've already created here a plane, but basically you're looking to create a plane. Let me just move this away here so you can see. You're trying to create the four four planes here. You're going to click on the four planes, and you're going to align your planes with that one of the of the bottle. So you're predominantly look, paying attention to the to the um, visible lines here. So you want to align the lines perfectly here. So for example, I get a straight line up here. It's okay if you're your, if your point goes over, but you want that line to be straight over there. And uh, we're going to use here the reflection. The reflection here will help us make that straight line right there. So I'm just going to move this up here, like so, making sure that I'm aligning here and that I'm aligning here. And the same over here, aligning there and there. Once you have your plane selected like so, then you can just go in and do a Control and V to paste. And we have our text pasted over here. And I'm just going to click and drag it over like so, like that. 
If you need to uh, modify the size of the text or anything, you can do Control and T and you know make it longer or shorter. I'm just gonna leave it around here. That should be fine. Press Enter, and uh, there we are. So we have our text that it looks looks like it's on the actual plane. And now all we need to do is just make it look like it was uh, embossed. So the trick to doing it in embossed is I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, bring it below my text. This is my text layer. Let me put in here text like so. And with this layer here, I'm just going to fill this in with black. So that is a control and backspace to make this into a, a black layer. And I'm going to select the two here, and I'm going to do a merge layers, like so. And now I'm going to do a control and A to copy everything, control and C to copy, control and N to open a new document, press OK, control and V to paste. So all I'm doing is just putting this on a new document, and I'm going to flatten the image. So it's just one layer with just that with just that text right there on the black. And I'm going to save this. This is important because we need to use this. We're going to use this as part of our texture, which uh, can create the that glass effect. So we need to actually have this, the, the text that we want on white, and um, the, the whole entire size of the image, the original size of the image needs to be there. And that's what the black is there for, just to delineate the, the actual original size of the image. And we're going to do just save this. So we're just going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save this to my desktop and just put in a title like uh, Text, for example. Whoops. Let me just do this again. You want to save this. Make sure that you're saving this as a Photoshop document. So we're going to do a text. There we go. Text.psd. Make sure that the format is Photoshop. And once we have that done, we can uh, now it's already saved. So we can just close that window. And uh, we're back to here to our original document. Right. With our document, uh, back into our original document, we can just delete that layer there. And now we're going to go into our um, original image here. And this is where we're actually going to apply the effect of the text, finally. So to do this, we need to go to Filter, Distort, and uh, Show All Menu Items here. You want to go to Filter, Distort, and Glass. And with this, what happens here is that, let me just show you here, the glass effect will just give you sort of this effect like there's some form of glass going over top of the image. But uh, So you can select different texture that comes here with Photoshop, but what you want to do here is just load a texture that you created yourself, which was that file that we just created. So we're going to click on this little arrow here, load texture, and select that text, and click load. And as you can see here we have our our type. Now what you can do here is um, let me untick here the options here. You can, and let's put everything down to here. So first, there is no glass uh, coming out at all. The distortion will make things more and more embossed to see, make it seem like the text is coming more and more out of the image, and it starts looking really funky once you start getting to the higher edges, depending on the image that you're working with. Because basically, because it's glass, is actually putting in um, values here of the reflection of the uh, of the image. Because I have just a white background, it's trying to emulate the reflection of things from outside of the image here, uh, which would be white, and it's looking really funky, so I don't want that. So I'm just going to make it smaller, just to want some reflections here. So for example, like this, distortion of 8. And uh, with smoothness, what I can do is just, um, it just starts making the, the text itself a little bit more smooth, and you want to make this very subtle, because once you start doing this too much, you start losing the uh, the entire thing. So you want to go either a smoothness of one or two, or what you can also try to do if this isn't looking quite right is invert. If you click on invert, then you get sort of like a different effect, and then you can also try out your um, smoothness and so forth. I think this works quite well here: smoothness of two and inverted, or you can prefer this one. For example, I prefer this one here; it's a little bit more obvious. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and click OK, and uh, there we are. So we have our text. Uh, embossed onto our glass surface. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.